Hi. Hey. I'm here today with my friend Raquel. The biggest request that I got on Facebook for what video to do next was hamstring flexibility and splits. And those two things go together really well, so we're combining them today into a flexibility practice for hamstrings and improving your splits. Miss um, Raquel said that she doesn't feel like she's very flexible. No, not at all, not in the hamstrings. So we're gonna see if we can do a little bit to help out with that, and then maybe you can follow along at home and let us know if this helps you. All right, let's get started. Right. So we're gonna start with some dynamic movement to get warmed up. It's also really good to do this after you take a five minute walk or do some jogging in place. We're just gonna start with some high knees. While you're at it, go ahead and point your toes. Let your big toe be the last thing to come off the ground and the first thing to come back. Pull your abdominal muscles in. Let your shoulder blades fall down your back. Breathe. We're going to take calf steps back. So we're just going to step the right foot back to a little calf stretch. And up and switch sides. Left back and up. Right back and up. Abs and left back and up. Taking that little calf stretch to the back. Let's hold this one back and take the heel down and heel up, heel down and heel up. Raquel's going to stay there. I'm going to turn to the side. Heel down and heel up, heel down and heel up, heel down, heel up, heel down, heel up. Let's hold that heel down and then bend the back knee a little bit. You'll feel that stretch shift to the outside of the calf. And press straight and bend, press straight and bend, press straight and bend, press straight and bend. Let's change sides. Left heel back, calf press. Breathing, shoulder stands, abs pulling in. Soften that back knee. Press it straight, and bend, and straight, and bend, and straight, and bend, and straight, and bend, and straight. Bring it up. We're going to take feet parallel right underneath the shoulder. Bend and press. 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 Bend, press. Abs in. Raquel's going to stay there. I'm going to turn to the side again. Make sure you're bending only as much as you can with your torso upright. Watch out for shifting the pelvis back. We're just doing a little calf and heel stretch. Little Achilles tendon warm up. Down and hold it. Little bounce. Switching through the feet, right and left, little prints, pointing the toes. Just bring the arms up, abs and ribs toes. We're going to go into a little brush, flex foot, brush. Just enough to feel a little stretch in the back of the leg. Finding your center. Good. Let's take the right foot around the back, grab that foot. Take a little balance. If you're having trouble balancing, you can pull your left ear. That helps. Let's bring that leg around. Hold underneath your knee. Find your center. Now contracting the quadricep. We're going to kick the leg and bend. Kick, 
and then just a little kick. Good. And I like to think if you were Spider Man and you were shooting webs from your wrist, <laughs> that's what's happening through the back of the leg. Your little shoot. And shoot. And shoot. You got it. Shoot. Good. Shoot. Pulling the quadriceps up. You got it. Three. Two. And one. Good. Bring it down. Other side. Left foot comes back. Find your balance. Balance is a process. It's different every day. So if you fall, just come right back up. We're going to shift that leg around, hold underneath the knee, rounding through that right leg. So we're lengthening the hamstring, and we're pulling the quadriceps up and in. And kick with a little power. Kick. And kick. And kick. And kick. Good. Breathe. Anchoring down through that right foot. Three, two, and one. Bring it down. Shake it out. We're going to inhale the arms up. Exhale from the crown of the head. Roll all the way down. One vertebrae at a time. When your fingertips come to the floor, bend both knees. Roll all the way up. And we're coming all the way down. Fingertips to the floor. Even if you have to bend your knees to get them there, that's okay. Come all the way down. Fingers down. Bend both knees. Roll it up. Inhale, arms up, heavy head. Exhale, scoop, curl down. Inhale, bend. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down. And bend and roll up. Inhale, arms up. We're going to come all the way down and hold it this time. All the way down, forward fold. Stay there. Stay there. Relax your neck and breathe. So I'm going to have Raquel turn because I want to show you guys a couple of things with the forward fold. Turning the music down, this is important. You're pretty close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I want you guys to notice is that she locks her knees back. This is a really common thing you see in forward fold is you're not quite over to the floor yet and your knees are locked back. In your forward fold, there's a couple of different kinds of flexibility you're working with. Lower back and hamstring. And both of them need to be working for you to get all the way over in your forward bend. So what we're going to do to help her get deeper into her forward bend and feel more of it in her hamstring with less going into the hip flexor and underneath the knee is that I'm going to have her slightly soften her knees and shift her weight forward toward the balls of the feet. Good. And now her fingertips are a little closer. Go ahead and see if you can get just the tips of your fingers down. Good. And then drop your head, look towards your belly button. Uh-huh, beautiful. And she's going to take a deep breath into the back of her body. And exhale, pull her navel into her spine. And that's going to get her just a couple more inches. Yes, beautiful. Inhale into the back. And exhale, navel to spine, pulling away from the thighs. Beautiful. Good. Breathing, inhaling into the back. And exhale, navel to spine, pulling the belly away from the thighs, pouring over the legs from the hips. Two more big deep breaths there. And one more. Now we're going to iron out the backs of the legs from this position with her hands on the floor. She's going to keep her head dropped. She's going to bend both knees, big inhale. And exhale, press her legs as straight as she can with her hands on the floor without locking the knees back. Inhale, bend. And exhale, press, scoop the belly in. Inhale, bend. Good, drop it down. Good, and exhale, press up, length. Beautiful, inhale, bend. And exhale, press, keeping the knees in line with the center of the foot. Inhale, bend. And exhale, press all the way up, stretch. Last one, inhale, bend. And exhale, press. Good, soften the knees, roll all the way up to standing. Ah. Inhale, arms up. We're gonna exhale, come down. 
And this time we're going to look forward and lengthen and walk out to a downward facing dog. So this is a triangle position. There's weight in the hands and there's weight in the feet. You're pressing your heels toward the floor, you're pressing your palms toward the floor, but you're reaching your sacrum up toward the ceiling. Pulling your belly muscles in. And you might feel this stretch through the whole back of your body, all the way into your heels. Think about pressing your chest toward your thighs, hanging into your shoulders a little bit. Beautiful. Breathe. Three big deep breaths here. And just for fun, because we're still warming up, let's bring this out into a plank position. Abs and strong. And walk yourself back, soft knees, come back hands to the feet, softening your knees whenever you need to, heels come to the floor, belly muscles with a heavy head, roll all the way back up to standing, and inhale, arms up, good, and exhale, down. We're going to take a small lunge, right leg forward, front knee is bent, back leg is straight, good, and turn to the side again. In this position, I want you to think about bringing your chest slightly forward over your front thigh. Slightly tucking your tail under, so you're really opening up the front of the left hip. And then press the back of the knee open toward the seat. Yeah, so you're getting as much as you can out of the back of this leg and the front of this hip. Breathe. Ah, some shoulders. Yes, abs pulling. Beautiful. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. And you want to feel the front of that left hip starting to open up. That's the back half of your split, right? So we're starting to get the back half of the split opened up. And let's step the left foot into the right. Then change sides. We're going to take the right leg back, left leg forward. And all of those same things here. So your ribs are slightly over your front thigh. You're pressing your back heel back and away. You're pressing the knee up toward the ceiling, opening the front of the right hip. Abs are in, shoulders are down the back. Pressing your hips forward into that stretch. Good. Make sure your front knee hasn't gone past your toes. You always want to keep your knee stacked above your ankle. Turn this foot parallel. Yeah, and you really press this back like this. Beautiful. So if you start to find your back heel wants to turn toward the floor, turning that back leg out, you're not going to get as much of a stretch in the hip flexor. You want to keep that back foot parallel, heel pointing straight up to the ceiling. Press that back knee straight, then you're really going to start to feel the center in the front of the hip. and stepping together. We're gonna go into a lunge again, and this time we're gonna take the lunge all the way to the floor. So we're gonna take the left foot back. We're in that nice, high, stacked up lunge. Back leg is as straight as it can be, pressing the, the back of the knee up toward the ceiling, pressing the heel back. Abs are in strong. Your knee is over your front foot. Let's brush our arms up. And then we're gonna lay our chest out over the thigh and down, one hand on either side of the foot. Good, and then you can walk this leg back if you need to a little bit to make some more room. Press your knee as straight as you can, like your press, 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 press up. Yes, put the hips down. Yeah, so the hips are dropping toward the floor and the back of the knee is yawning open toward the ceiling, trying to make as much space as you can in the back of the leg, opening the hamstring and the hip flexor together. Walk this foot back towards you a little bit. Yeah, and press it. Yes, beautiful. Shoulders down, long neck, abs, and breathing. Ah, so many things. <laughs> mm. 
right from here, we're gonna go ahead and drop the back knee to the floor. Good. And then press your hips forward a little bit more. Now we're really getting into the back half of the split. Happening. She's pressing in here. She's lengthening the front of this hip. Good. Breathe, bring shoulders in. Watch out for that. So hip tension and shoulder tension are usually mirrored. So if you're feeling really tight in the hip and there's a lot of pressure in there, your shoulders might just sink right up and try to hold it for them. So make sure the shoulders are coming down your back. Good. We're going to press this back and extend the right leg forward. Abs in. Flex your front. So we're not going to come all the way to sitting. We're just going to come over this front leg. And then I want you to flex your front foot. And think about arching your lower back. It won't go very far, but you'll feel more in the hamstring. Good. Long neck. Don't even think about head to knee. Think about long, flat spine. Well, long lift. Lift your chest. Yeah. So I can tell as I'm working with her here that most of what's blocking her flexibility isn't as much in the hamstrings as it is in your lower. I can see that. So as we're working here, we're going to always be working on shoulder blades down and lengthening the spine. So starting our lunge sequence on the left side, we're going to go left leg in front, right leg in back, So we're squaring off the hips, pulling the belly muscles in, chest slightly forward over the front leg, abs in strong, and we're pressing the hips forward, we're pressing that back knee as straight as we can up toward the ceiling, back to the yeah. Then you're going to really start to feel the front of the right hip. You bring the arms up. Lay your chest out over your front thigh. One hand to either side of your foot, and then press your hips down. Flex that back foot. Extend your back knee up towards the ceiling. Open it open. Yes. So this is pressing up, and the hips are pressing down at the same time. Beautiful. Long flat back. Shoulders down. Long neck. Breathe. Take a few breaths here, opening up the hips. Gently drop the back knee down and keep pressing the hips forward. Abs and shoulder blades down the back and you feel even more in the front of the right hip. Navel pulls into your spot. Breathe in. And from here, we're going to shift the weight back. We're not sitting on the back heel, we're just coming back into a kneeling position and extending the left leg forward. Long straight leg. We're gonna flex this foot, pulling the toes back towards you. And then you're gonna lengthen your spine. So we're not even thinking head to leg. We're thinking long, flat back. Shoulder blades are down the back. Abdominals are pulled in. And you're lifting your sits bones up and away in the back. You're pulling your tailbone away from your heel. And then you're gonna really start to feel the stretch in the back of the leg increase. Good. Shoulders down, long flat. Best now, up, up, up. Yes. Good. Long neck. Long neck. Yeah. Beautiful. Really. Need that length. Yes. Breathe. That is a big chain, right? In the back of the leg. Mm-hmm. There it is. Now. Good. Long flat back stretch. bring this leg back. So we're going to turn into a squat or a seated position here. So tops of the ankles over, pull forward a little bit so that you're, you're on the mat, and then just slap the tops of your feet into the mat. It's, uh, that was me. It's okay. It seems silly, but that starts to open up the back, the tops of the ankles a little bit. Yes. Relax them. 
Good, so you're slapping the tops of your feet into your mat. And now you're gonna press your sits bones back and come to sitting on your feet. If the tops of the ankles are really tight, that's gonna inhibit your splits a little bit as well. That back leg, you're balanced on the top of the ankle in the back. So you need the top of the ankle open enough that you can press your foot. Good. How's that feel? Can you walk back a little bit? Yeah, does that feel good? Can you walk back a little bit more? Good. So you're just kind of going to where you feel like you can comfortably take it. And if you're back here, press your knees down, tuck your tail under, pull your belly muscles in, you'll feel an additional stretch in the top of the back. Breathe. Walk yourself up. We're going to bring the legs around to the front. So with the legs in the front of the body, we're not going to go straight into a pike position. We're going to start with a little back stretch. We're going to wrap our arms underneath our legs. Just give your knees a hug. And then start to slide your legs forward and drop your head. And come to where it feels good. And take a few breaths. On every exhale, pull your navel into your spine and pull the belly button away from the thighs. See if you can keep your neck long and your shoulder blades down your back. So we're making sure that everything is warmed up enough to start to get into those splits. We need the back warm, we need the hip flexors warm, we need the hamstrings warm. Top skin. Calves. Everything needs to be opened up. So in this position, we're going to stay over. And we're just going to be about pulling our shoulder blades apart up toward the ceiling. We're going to do a little bit more stretch in the back. And then relax and come back over. So that takes you a little deeper into your stretch. Then you can slide your legs out a little bit. And again, pull it up into the back. And stretch forward. And point up and stretch. And stretch. And now we're going to take a pipe. So rock yourself side to side, adjust on your sit bones, make sure your butt knee is out of the way. You lengthen your spine all the way up. Good. So for Raquel, you're going to notice that she's slightly curved here. So that's part of being able to see that she's a little bit tight back here. I want her all the way up on top of her sit bones. So I'm going to her slightly bend her legs. Yep, and then press your sits bones forward. Press yourself up. There, so you get a really long flat spine with your knees slightly bent. And then we're just going to start to walk forward. You still feel your hands right? Take the butt out a little bit. Good, and then you can stand on the back. Arch your lower back. No, you feel that's what you want. So it's that combination of tailbone back and lengthening the lower back and pulling yourself toward the hamstrings, and you're gonna feel all of those things together starting to open up. So take a few breaths here. She's gonna say, if you can already comfortably sit all the way up on top of your sit bones with your legs extended, then you're gonna start to pitch forward in a flat back walk with your fingertips out. So I'm not dropping my chest toward my thighs, I'm thinking about a long, flat spine, Hinging forward at the hip socket, coming toward my legs. Reaching the fingertips out. Continually reaching those sit bones again. You need to shake your legs out a little bit. You can you feel like your quads are starting to tense up. You shake them. And then from here, 
we're going to start to drop forward. But again, rather than thinking about reaching for the toes, which can pull the tension up into the shoulder, we're going to think about dropping the elbows toward the floor. And then drop your feet. Again, if you're already flexible here, it's always where you can go. So just be able to readjust. Walk those elbows out. Get your elbows in line with your shins. Bring your shoulder blades down. Full length of yourself a little bit more out over your hips and then come into your lower body. Okay. We're getting the head to the knees, and then we're getting the head to the shins, and then we're getting the head to the ankles, and then your head is just resting on your toes. If you have a really long twist. Shake your legs out a little bit. All right, we're gonna come into fourth position. So fourth position is a very dancerly way to stretch our hips. Um, so I like to start fourth position sitting like this. Sit like a baby. Yeah. And then we're gonna take the right leg and we're gonna tuck it so that your foot is right as close as it can be to your butt. If your ankle's tight, it's okay if your foot is um, flexed and turned out like that, but I would prefer if you can for you to get that foot in nice and close. It's a safer angle for your knee. And then with the left one, we're just gonna drop it open. This is kind of strange. So you're making a square here as opposed to a triangle. So the, we're not toe to knee, we're open here. So you have foot to knee, you can close this a little bit. Yeah. Foot to knee, knee to hip, hip to knee, making a box in front. We're gonna turn our upper body toward the right, the left leg. And then we're gonna squeeze that right hip and bring it up and press it down. And you're gonna feel increased stretch around that right hip socket as you come down. And down. And down. And down. Good. Now the same thing with the torso back, rotating toward the front, coming up, and press down, and up, uh huh, and down. Yeah, you can flex that foot. Okay. That helps a little bit. Up, and down, and up. And down. Now, keeping this front leg bent, we're going to rotate again. We're going to keep our right sit bone on the floor and we're going to round toward the leg. You won't be able to get very far if you don't let your right hip come up, and that's okay. Now, from this position, we're just going to extend the left leg as much as we can and come forward. Breathe. Relax your neck. Good. Shoulders are still down the back. So in this position, we're working just the front half of the split. Major hamstring stretch. Think about keeping both sit bones on the ground. Think about keeping the shoulders down away from the ears and pulling the abdominals in gently. Walking your hands back to the feet and up. We're going to reverse that. So we're just going to bend that left leg, fold in the right leg, just on the sits on the And coming to the other side, tuck the left leg. I don't know. Might be totally different on this side. And drop the right leg open. And then double check again to make sure you're a square. Knee, hip, hip, knee, knee, foot, knee, hip. 
coming up as well. So we're rotating your torso towards your right foot. Squeeze the glutes. And press down. Squeeze the glutes. And press down. Squeeze the glutes. And press down. We're rotating the body back to the front. Squeeze your glutes. And press down. And squeeze. On that press down, you're going to feel increased stretch around the feet. Up and flex and up. We're going to press it and hold it down. That hip is pressed toward the heel. We're going to rotate the torso toward the right heel, keeping your left sits bone on the floor around toward your heel. You're going to feel rotators on the front leg all the way around the foot. Now we're going to leave our heels exactly where they are and flex them and that should bring your knees up without you really having to do anything you just can bring on your heels down and up and do that this time. Yep. And flex. And flex. Now from that flex position, we're going to roll the knees backwards, point and roll through. We're just going to stir. It's kind of odd and sometimes you might hear clicking or feel things thump around in there. That's okay, we're just going to get the hip sockets opened up a little bit. And then we're going to go back the other way. Stirring. Kind of be good here. Good, and then point. Sit up tall. Reach the arms out long. We're going to lay the left side of the waist out over the thigh. Reach out long, bring that right arm straight up over your chin. Shoulders down. Good. And again, it doesn't matter if we're low, we want to be long. We want that long torso reaching out over the thigh. Breathing. Now, if you're really flexible here, lay yourself out off the left. You can also cut the bottom heel. If that feels good, you can reach all the way over to take your right foot. And then think about rotating yourself open. Keep on reaching the right six bones in that. All of those places are great. Doesn't matter where you go. But I'll be with you for a little bit. And put your nose in line with your sternum. It's a nice place to think of where the neck goes, how the head lines up. Turn up and over to the other side, reach the right arm up. Lay the waist along the leg, reach all the way. And again, if you'd like, pop that bottom heel, reach for the foot, keep the needle pointing the left foot into the neck. Good. 
feet can be pointed or flexed, but make sure they're comfortable. Shaking the legs out again. We're going to start to walk forward just a little bit. And then again, you have about six bones back. And lengthening back, you're rolling your crotch towards the floor. Yeah, fingers are slow. It's the nicest way I can put it. <laughs> Walking yourself out with a long flat spine. Breathe. And again, if you're really flexible here, thinking about rolling the legs open, and then see if you can relax your thighs, and then just keep walking, see where you can go. If you're interested in working a little split from this position, you can start with rolling your inner thighs forward, and then rolling back, then rolling forward and rolling back. And then you're going to start to feel a lot of inner thigh open. That's going to get fully into your middle split position. Walk your hands back. Shake your legs together. All right, so we're coming into our last preparatory stretch before our full split. Here we go. It's another lunge variation. So we're going to come to hands and knees. We're going to bring our left leg in front. And then we're going to press forward into that kneeling position. And bring our, our hands one to either side of the foot. Press and knees. A little farther forward here, all of the flat. Good. Good. Now from here, we're going to turn this leg out, and we're going to bring our elbows. Now we're in the groin. Big time. We're also opening up the back. Okay. We're opening up the front of the right hip. We're opening up all the way around the inside of the right hip. Feel that? If you'd like here, you can squeeze your right knee. You have to increase stretch in the squat of the right thigh, and then relax it. And squeeze. And relax. And relax. We're going to come back to our fingertips here. We're going to walk this left foot back to parallel. And then keep walking. Take your left foot towards your right hand. We're going to come into pigeon position. Runner stretch. Opening up the back of the right hip. So now we're working the back half of the split, and the front leg is out of the way, but you're going to feel stretch if you rotate yourself on that. It is. <laughs> now, if you're feeling good here and you'd like more stretch for the back of the right leg, you can reach around and grab your right foot with either hand. I like to go with the opposite yeah. And breathe and pull your And pull your belly moves to the Everything happens. So you're going to be close on the back half of the school. I can see that. You're going to be. Just like, <laughs> breathe. If you can't grab your foot, don't worry about it. Just keep the leg extended, stay here. Keep pressing the hips forward. Keep breathing, keep pulling your abs in. Keep thinking happy thoughts. It'll happen. Very gently. We're gonna come out of this in a really lazy way. We're gonna roll our weight all the way over onto the left butt cheek. And then we're gonna very gently swing this right leg. After I built up all of that looseness, I don't want to bring up any tension. So it's gonna melt out of the position. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, coming back to the knees. Your hips might feel really different right now. 
<laughs> We're gonna bring the right leg forward. Press forward into our kneeling position. Bring your hands to the Get that knee a little farther away. Good. Yeah. Lots of stretch for the front of the left hip. Breathe in. Pull in the belly muscles in. Shoulders again. We're going to open up that right leg and come elbows down. Oh, different on this side. Oh, geez. <laughs> wow. Totally different world on the other side. We're going to walk that right foot over to the left hand and come into pigeon position. Totally different again on this side. Shoulder blades are down. Abs are in where you lengthening this foot. And if you'd like to, you can take that left foot in the right these can be really different also if there's one leg walks across over the other when you sit. Those hips are gonna be very, very different when you put a stretch. I'll tell you something. I'm only playing your fucking game because ain't shit else to do. Mm -hmm. But don't you ever pull a gun on me again in your life. <laughs> yeah, we all go down if you do, because we all crew. Just try me if you think I'm bullshit. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna shift over onto the right foot. Okay. Very gently pull that left leg. Yeah. Now we're gonna come back to hands and knees. Let's start with our left leg in front. And the first thing we're gonna do is just think limber thought. We're not going to panic, because if you start to panic, you're going to start to squeeze your muscles, and it's going to be harder to get into your split. So we're just going to start to bring our hands to the floor and walk our front foot forward. And then, depending on where you're at, you can also start to slide your back leg back. And you're coming into as low as you can go. And if you have blocks at home, you can put blocks under your hands if that helps. When we're breathing here, I like to gently walk side to side. So I'm getting more into the hamstring, more into the hip flexor, more into the hamstring, more into the hip flexor. Where are you feeling it most? Oh, okay, perfect. Some of it is just holding it and breathing through it. Good. Now from here, gather that foot right back here. And then try the other side. Just bring your foot back to your neck. You've got some long, long 
So we're gonna bring the other leg forward. Again, it might be totally different on this side. So we're just gonna start to first coming forward and then start to walk that front leg up. And just see where you're at. Might be totally different on this side. Keep that gentle walk side to side. A lot of your weight is supported in your arm. Now, of course, if you're already fully in your split and you can sit comfortably, this is another place where you can bring that back foot up and grab it with your hand. You do it. I don't need to show up. <laughs> Beautiful. You sit. Really gentle, rock your weight over the way over for the side for a second. You have to be easy here and over here. And then rock your weight back to this side. And then go over the way over the way. See if you can shift back and forth. So you're rolling your hips over into the front hip and back to the back. Forward and back. Just see if you can get a little bit more in the knees. I think it also helps if you can imagine there's a tight fist in the belly of the muscle. And as you're breathing, that hand is unclenching. And you're just picturing, let's say, breathe. Good. It's true, I feel like I see, I see things moving around in there. Breathe. Do the Shavasana for a moment. So we're going to bring our legs around to the front, roll yourself down, and then flop. Palms up, feet flop open, and breathe. Don't skip this part. There are so many people who just want to jump up and run out. But I think of it like if you install an update on your computer, afterwards you have to reboot it or the update doesn't take. It's the same thing with stretching. You put all of this effort into opening up your hips, and then you just get up and walk out and go right back into all of the bad habits and sitting and diving and cramptness of your daily life. You're not going to reap the full benefits. You need to give your body a moment to completely integrate all of the changes that you just made. And the best way to do that is just by staying still for a second and letting your hips figure out what the hell you just did to them. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> you don't have to meditate. You can if you want to. You know, just stay there for a second. While you stay laying there in your Shavasana for a moment, I would just like to offer that if you think of yourself as being inflexible, it's going to impact how you relate to your body. So rather than thinking of yourself as inflexible, I'd like to offer up the word limber. Not necessarily flexible, just limber. And what does that imply? It implies that you're loose, that you're ready to move around at any time. So always be slightly adjusting, slightly, slightly moving, never just sitting in your chair in one position for too long. When you sit at home to watch a movie or watch TV or read a book, Sit in front of your couch on a pillow, extend your legs to the front, and hang out in this position. Start putting your book on your legs, and it'll encourage you to start to lean forward and get deeper into your hamstrings. 
When you're at the movies, sit at the movies and cross one leg over and lean forward for a little while and then switch sides. People might look at you funny, but that's okay because you're a limber person. And limber people don't sit still for too long because they'll feel tight and they don't want to feel tight. So integrate this idea of being the kind of person who's always trying to stay loose as opposed to thinking of yourself as someone who's inflexible and tight and see if that orientation to your body helps encourage you to live in your body a little bit differently. I hope this was helpful. Have your hips feel. They feel great, actually. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Please rate and subscribe and like and follow us. I'm going to post our Instagram. Okay. All right. Bye.